The sound differs from place to place. He's tapping the walls of a tunnel built more than 40 years ago. The steel inside corrodes and expands, causing the surface concrete to peel off. He finds sections that need to be repaired and marks the type of damage and size using chalk. Then he takes pictures with a camera. The employee returns to on-grit holdings in Fukuoka City. The pictures he took on site are scanned. Then, using proprietary software, 20 pictures are compiled into a single image. Defects, such as cracks and water leakage, are recognized by artificial intelligence, and the sections needing repair are marked. In the past, damages to the tunnel that were photographed were manually entered into blueprints. It took two whole days. With this system, the amount of work has been slashed to one-eighth. By increasing work that anyone can do, they've been able to attract workers without construction expertise. We can get inexperienced people to do the work and create more jobs. This is the president, Haruna Morikawa. Until she set up the company in 2018, she was a homemaker. She decided to launch the business about 10 years ago. My friend suddenly became a single parent and told me she couldn't find places to work. At the same time, she heard her husband, Ayumu, who worked at a general contractor, frequently talk about the labor shortage in the construction industry. With a tool that anyone can use, I felt it would be possible to match people who want to work but can't find work and the workerless construction industry. Ayumu wrote the basic program. They spent four years getting AI to learn from 40,000 pictures of cracks and developed software to generate blueprints. Ayumu now works together with his wife in the company, which has 50 employees. They received investment of about $3 million. Infrastructure maintenance in Japan is estimated to reach $1.4 trillion over the next 30 years. At the same time, the number of construction workers is on the decline. Unlike the use of AI until now to enhance work efficiency, this will allow companies to draw in people from outside their industries and may help solve worker shortages in various industries. They're taking the next step in their business. Workers arrive at a small bridge. They're studying how to more easily produce repair blueprints. We're here to take pictures and create 3D models. Sho Ikeda, who's holding the camera, is autistic and has difficulty communicating. With a hammer, you have to rely on your ears, and it can be labor-intensive because you have to keep hammering. But with a camera, you can keep walking around with it, so it's easier. It's his first time on site. He takes pictures of the bridge from all angles. Even with pictures taken by a person without expertise, by combining 300 of them, it's possible to make a three-dimensional blueprint of the bridge, the next evolution in work that can be carried out by people without specific expertise. In the future, I want to expand overseas and offer people the opportunity to work and make a living. I want to solve the problems of social infrastructure and employment.